You may be surprised to learn that one in 10 adults and children in Dane County suffer from asthma. And that's why a local group is putting on a race today to raise awareness and funds for the illness. I'm here with Mandy Hyde, who's going to tell me a little bit about that 5K happening. Uh, yes, so we're crawling the run out in asthma. Uh, we created it to help raise funds for our local asthma camp. Um, and it's the first year we're attempting it, and so hopefully we'll get a lot of people this year. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, I understand that in the past, you guys were given money for the asthma camp, but unfortunately, due to budget cuts, that money is gone now. So how important is uh, this race today and the funds you raise? Uh, this race is huge. Um, so asthma camp has happened for, we just finished our sixth year uh, this past June, and we, yes, we have lost all funding for it. So as long as we can get enough people, and we currently have a lot of people signed up, which is great, um, we can keep the camp going. And hopefully this race will then keep sparking the camp to keep going for years to come. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, for those who aren't familiar with the camp, what exactly is asthma camp? I've never heard of yeah, that. So it's a camp designed, it is a free camp for elementary age students. Uh, they tend to be low income and at, at risk students who have, suffer from severe asthma. Um, and then during the camp, it's a day long camp, usually happens the day after school's out. Uh, they come, they learn about their asthma, how to take their medicine properly. We have lots of fun um, kind of physical activities. They do hip hop. We had taekwondo this year. And then we build in some nutrition lessons as well. <laughs> All right, wonderful. And why is it so important for you guys? I mean, you do hear a lot about asthma, but a lot of people aren't educated about it. So why is it important for you guys to spread the word? Well, we, as you said at the beginning, one in 10 uh, students and adults have asthma in Madison. And we really want to let people know a lot more about it, kind of what um, just even to wait, raise awareness about it, how, you know, you see a kid wheezing, you need to know to find their inhaler, or even kids need to learn um, to bring their inhalers with them and for schools to allow them to bring their inhalers with them. And so just kind of raising that awareness that it's much more prevalent than a lot of people think it is and just to, um, yeah, help kids out when you can. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, uh, that race going on this morning, what time does everything kick off and how can people uh, get out there and run yes. if they, they are, they're up to it this yes. morning? So, um, Hopefully right now people are setting up or starting to. Uh, packet pickup and actually day of registration starts at 8.30. Um, it is all over down in the university campus near lot 60. Um, unfortunately there's some construction but we'll have lots of balloons up. You'll see lots of people in uh, bright red shirts saying uh, outrun asthma on it. Uh, you can then show up and register the day of, pick up your race packets uh, and then park right there as well for free which is great. And then the actual race starts at 10 a.m. All right, perfect. And, you know, obviously not everyone's going to be able to get out there and run this morning. How can people help out otherwise? Uh, well, if you search Outrun Asthma on Facebook, all of that information is on there. That will take you to, um, like, our donation page for the race, as well as give you a lot more information about asthma camp. So if any, any kids out there want to learn more about asthma or are interested in this free camp, uh, there's lots of links on there that will provide them more information. All so. right, wonderful. Well, thank you very much, Mandy. Yeah, we appreciate it, and we hope you all get out there, lace your shoes up, and outrun asthma. We'll be right back.